Good morning, my name's Pamela, I'm from Yorkshire in the north of England. Um, today's Thursday, I had meant to come on yesterday but to be honest I didn't have a lot to show you yesterday. Um, I've, um, I have got a finished object today though that I can show you. Um, just want to say something. A lot of you, a lot of you will think I'm weird for this, but my name is Pamela. I do not like my name shortening. If you add your name shortened as many times as I do, and seriously, it's a lot that people think it's all right to call me Pam. It it gets very annoying, and. In the great scheme of things, with everything that's happening in the world, I know I shouldn't get so wet up about it, but I do not like being called Pam. My name is Pamela. I introduce myself as Pamela. I put my name down as Pamela in my bios. I do not ever refer to myself as Pam. If you had a name that was constantly shortened and you didn't like it, you would probably understand. But I have noticed that people who do it to me don't generally do it to other names. For instance, like Catherine, they don't assume they can call somebody Cathy. Or if they're called Elizabeth, they don't assume they can call them Liz. So why do they do it with my name? My name is a short name, it's not hard. So I may sound like I'm whining, but I don't ask for much in life. I I just want to have a fun time. I want to enjoy it on here. I want to I want to talk, uh, just talk about crochet. I want to enjoy my retirement, and I don't want to have this constant battle. And believe me, I've had it for decades. I was I was christened Pamela. My family called me Pamela, and I like it. If you think I'm stupid, then please you can unsubscribe. It's fine. I'm not, I'm not worried. I just I just want you to know that how much it upsets me when people assume they can shorten my name. This is not addressed, by the way, to many people around the world. There's only one person on here that's actually done it, and as usual, it's a British person. I it's not something that I've noticed that has been done by people around the world. You've all called me Pamela and I love that. I love it that I can have the name that I want. You know, it's is it too much to ask for? Anyway, that is my whining over. I just wanted you to know how I feel about it. So as much as it's that it really does upset me. So I, I if anybody calls me Pam, I generally will delete the comments or I won't I won't interact with them. It's a matter of respect, isn't it? You know, just just call somebody the name that they've told you it is. If I've said my name's Pamela, then please call me Pamela. That's all I'm going to say. Thank you. Anyway, on to the finished object. My, my finished object is my scarf. So I have actually done this now. So you see there's a few colour changes. I don't know if any of the colours are actually repeated, to be honest. I'm not sure they are. I think they're all different. Anyway, it looks it looks okay. So I generally wear my scarves tucked through like this. So this is a good length. It's about 72 inches long, by the way. So about six feet. This will do for me for autumn when it just gets a bit chilly. I have to keep my neck covered when it gets a bit cooler because... I have um, a little bit of arthritis just in the right hand side of my neck so I just have to look after it. I go to an osteopath and he's always telling me to do that. In fact this will probably be okay for me for most of winter unless it's really cold because uh, I have a tendency to get warm. As with a lot of ladies who mention on here, I'm, I mean, I'm nearly through the men menopausal stage now. I, I, I did perimenopause from age 38 to 51 so I'm sorry if I'm telling you something that will upset you, but it, it does go on. <laughs> so I had that and then um, 
the, the menopause itself kicked in when I was 51. I am coming through it now, and uh, but I do still have hot flushes and I know from other ladies that no matter how old you get, the occasional one will come and grab you, you know. So I, uh, I, I tend to like wear, I still follow the rule that you should follow when you're menopausal, which is wear natural fibres if you can and um, layer up rather than wearing thick things so that's what I do so it does actually go on like this it's a bit longer I don't know if you can see that a bit longer like that but I probably would I just wear it like like in the, the loop like I showed you there so that's to the other side so yeah I like it my colours of course and that's brilliant so that's that one done. So of course I did that. Oh, by the way, I did put the little fr uh, the fr fringe on the bottom. I want to show because I don't like them when they get, ta uh, you know, caught up in your zips and what have you. But I felt like it needed a bit of something. But if they get if they get torn on my zip or whatever, I'll just give them a, an air cut and make them a bit shorter. So that's that. So that was done, of course, in the Crochet Society uh, cake that came with the box uh, well it's now three boxes back because we've had the latest so it's a DK weight and it was recommended for I think it was a 3.25 but I did it in a four millimeter just to give it that drape that we all want you know when it's something that you wear so yeah I love that I don't know whether it did actually have a colour and I don't know whether no, it's just gown as Rosina because it was the Rosina plain box so but anyway love that I had a little bit left which I tried to um what do you call it wind up on me my little wind yarn winder um can I just say that thing is my ne nemesis I absolutely love it I so I think this might be my last ever attempt to wind it wool on it because we just don't get along at all um my the yarn older thing the the metal thing that will not stay up so i end up having to hold the yarn in one hand obviously you end up moving don't you as you you're turning so constantly having to stop and start so i do not enjoy doing that so i think that's probably as well if i give that up um anyway then i I've obviously started my bear, which I said I was going to do after I did the Oatly the Horse. So that's as he stands at the moment. So he's got that sort of um, alien look about him like they sometimes do before they get a lot of the trimmings on. I've put the material in the, the ears. It's not brilliant, but it, it's, it's definitely passable. So um, I, I think he'll be fine. He, he, they do they all look a bit strange don't they before they get the um get you get all the arms and legs and what have you on and the face facial features but i think he'll be ready by tomorrow he's uh he's, he's look he's he's on his way anyway isn't he? so yeah i like him now I, I will tell you about the arm though you know as you know it was the third uh hour tweed uh this one was in bronte bronze and um It's funny because the things I expected to go wrong with it haven't. Like for instance, I thought with it being the brown yarn, I thought it'd be difficult to see the stitches. They actually were, they were very easy to see and it's quite a joy to work up. However, it is a bit rough on your finger, you know, where you, your hands are on your finger. Um, the other thing is, going back to the menopause thing and the fact that we've had hot weather here, if you're sweating it's very hard to use um the thickness of it is very deceptive i because because it was a tweet even though it's a dk i thought oh i'll have to go up in size so i i tried using the three millimeter i only did a couple of rows in it but i could see that there were too many gaps so I went to my usual 2.75, again there were still gaps, so very surprisingly for me I've had to use a 2.5 for this one, which is, it, it, you know, like I say, it's, it, normally 2.75 is, is what I like for me, I'm a girl almost, but anyway, that's as it is. Um, the other thing is, if you, 
putting a needle through as i found out with putting the head on um you, your stuffing uh, sticks more to your to your yarn than it does with like a cotton uh so you, you're constantly pulling stuffing out so i'm gonna have to address that when before i put the arms on because there's a little bit all the way around the neck it is also prone to snapping so like for instance with doing when you do the magic circle at the beginning pulling it up i have broke it uh, i had to redo one because it didn't have a, a long enough um end on to weaving uh it's also done it when i was attaching the neck to the body it's uh you know just just a little tug and it's it split so did it once on the way around there so um i i just I carried on with the the thread but then i, I and i uh tied off the ends and pulled them through the fabric so that it, you know like it's, it's i didn't have to start again is what i'm trying to say um it's just it is prone to breaking having said all that i do think it's a nice finish and i think it'll make a very good bear so that's that um i do i've i've started the the shawl that i was i took you know up to um sorry down to west midlands with me i have started it because i i've I've decided I, I should carry on with like doing my odd wearables and things, you know, what, alongside me and my room. It really gives you just a bit of a, an option, doesn't it? Everybody says something mindless to do while you're watching television because you have to concentrate a lot on having the guru me sometimes, don't you? So I am going to always have something on the go, I think. And there's plenty of things I want to do. I've got patterns for a lot of things. I'm just going to have a drink because my throat is so dry. So yeah, I um, I uh, I'm gonna make sure I, I do I do have other things to uh, do as well. Um, I think I just got it up once I once I started to grasp and regrow me. I got so it up with doing it, you know, and I I really really love it, you know. But um, I don't think it does any harm to have any uh, an alternative, does it, on the go so that's that um i just want a couple of mentions to people there's a, there's a, a a lady who's uh she started following me and she's actually given me a mention she's really really lovely she her channel's called joy of things she just puts out small short videos but it's so up my street because it's about upcycling it's about using food that would otherwise be you know thrown away um bits of crafting embroidery you know she in fact she's just embroidered a squirrel which is absolutely beautiful she can't call it Cyril because she's got a doorstop that's called Cyril the squirrel so she's she's called it Cedric you really must go and have a look she just puts a variety of things out it's, it's so so lovely and they're only short videos you, you, I'm sure you'd enjoy it so just go give her a chance the other one is a lady from the southeast by the way joy of things she lives in Derbyshire um from the uh southeast she's called natasha and her channel is ox and stitches so um she very kindly gave me a mention and was quite complimentary about my amigurumi so i'd really like you to go and give her a look and see if you you want to follow her that'd be great um now um i think that's it for now i am going to because caroline said to me that uh, why don't you do the craft cart video you know about what's on your trolley so i'm gonna do that um whether it'll be today or tomorrow i don't know but i'm gonna do that but please bear in mind my trolley is a total car crash i i i I don't I don't know I start off I clear it out and it's beautiful but I'm not kidding within hours it's back to being chaos uh, but I'm, I'll, I'll show you what I've got on it and uh, a lot of it is stuff that I'm not even using but you know I'll show you what I've got on it Um, so that's that's the next thing then what have I got planned I think that might be it I haven't got much on because my car's still out of action you know Um. The the guy that you, I, I think did I tell you 
the reason why it's been such a delay is I've got a really good mechanic. He's such a good man and I trust him implicitly. And they, those people are worth the waiting gold, as you probably know. So, but unfortunately, a few months ago, he, he was knocked off his motorbike and he's had some quite serious injuries. So he contacted me and said, you know, we'll come out of action, but if you ever need anything doing with your car, just contact me first and I'll put you in direction of somebody I know. And I love that because I, with things like cars, I always want to have somebody who recommend it to me, you know. So um, he sent me to one of his friends and we were fine. He diagnosed what was wrong. I've got a little, little leak in, of gear oil um, that's coming out of the crankshaft, which... I've heard of it. <laughs> That's about as much as I can say to you. But anyway, it's coming out of that. The trouble is, it's a big job. You have to, you have to take out the gearbox in order to uh, get to where the problem is. And that, that is why it's a big job. And um, it's probably only going to be a little seal, you know, or a washer that needs putting on when you've done. But you've got to have all this other work done first. It, and as well, apparently it can have caused problems to my um, clutch or, um, you know, gears. Uh, they don't think so, but they, they, they still need to have a look. So, unfortunately, the other guy that he referred me to was lovely. Really, really nice bloke. But he, he can't do it. He hasn't got the facilities to take a gearbox out. So then, he recommended one that works near my guy, my guy recommended him too, but he's been on holiday. It's holiday season. Shut down. So um, he only came back last week. So anyway, I took it to him. He had a look at it. He agreed with the others and he's going to do it. The only thing is, with it being a big job, he needs a, he needs a day. So I can't have it done till a week on Monday. So what a saga. Well, it's like, but at least I'm getting somebody I know I can trust and that's the main thing to me. I don't care if I have to wait. It's slightly inconvenient because I like to go visit people but you know that at the end of the day if it gets fixed it gets fixed and that's the main thing. So that's that. Uh, I don't think I've got much else to say so I'll uh, and please please don't take it. Why do people take offence when you say you don't like being caught something? You know, it's up to you what you're called, isn't it, Julie? So I hope you don't mind me having my little spiel. I can't believe, at eight, I'm nearly 59, I can't believe I'm still having to tell people to, to just respect my choice with regard to my name. I can't believe it, but I am. So <laughs> I, I hope you don't mind me saying it. Um, I hope you don't mind that uh, I... I've got to the stage of zero tolerance with it, really. I Don't get me wrong, I have things I rant about. As you know, I love the environment, I love uh, wildlife. But I don't ask for much personally. And this is the one thing I ask for. Please, please, please call me by the name that I introduce myself by. Thank you. Anyway, take care of yourselves. I'll see you.